How to take pictures of track and field. Part 1. General and jumps. What we will cover. Track and field will be covered in three parts. Part 1. General and jumps. Part 2. Running. And part 3. Throwing. So in this video, part 1. General and jumps. We will cover general items. Gear and exposure jumps, and pole vault. Pole vault is limited as it is not an event at my school. General. First, check the schedule. The throwing events, shot put and discuss. When? Here's the issue. Sometimes the throwing events are held on a different day than the track events. If you show up on one day, you might find out your shot put is the day before or the day after. Where? Sometimes the throwing events are held at a different school than the track events. Problem. In track and field, there are several events that happen at the same time. Running, long jump and triple jump, high jump and shot put the discus. The issue is you cannot be in three or four places at the same time. Therefore, you will need multiple photographers to cover track and field. One year I was shooting long jump and when I finished long jump I headed over to high jump. But when I got there, high jump had finished. They were shutting down the event. So I missed high, all the high jumps. Logistics. There are multiple events happening at the same time. There is limited space on the field. If the oval track is in use, you may not be able to shoot from the track. You have to plan alternate locations to shoot from. And the throwing events may be in a different part of the school. You need to plan your movements from event to event. Example, this is our school. At the top of the screen, you see shot put and discus. Bottom right, long jump. Bottom left, high jump. At the bottom is the 100-yard dashes. So you can see if you need to go between those events, that's a lot of ground you have to cover. And you look at long jump and high jump, it's the length of a football field. Getting from shot put to long jump, well, you've got to negotiate the various fences and gates. So it can be, it's about a 100-yard walk. Other notes. Be aware of the events happening around you. Don't go into the area of an active event. That may disrupt the event and may cost your school a penalty. Watch the direction of the sun. Where possible, try to avoid shooting towards the sun. Gear and exposure. Track and field is a daytime event. You have plenty of sunlight. Camera. Most any camera. Lenses, the 18 to 140 general lens. 75 to 300 for the longer shots. Or if you have an 18 to 400, that's an alternate for a one lens kit. Exposure. S mode, shutter priority. 1 1600th of a second, ISO auto. That should cover everything. Jumps. Long jump, triple jump, high jump. Long jump and triple jump. Where to shoot from? Picture on the right is our long jump track. So the orange arrows at the top and on the top left is where I would shoot from. Top arrow, shooting on the track on the outside lanes to avoid the runners on the inside lane. However, if the runners are using the full track, I have to be outside the track. 
You can't be on the track during a meet. On the side, catching the side profile of the jump itself. Note in this picture, the sun is coming from the bottom left corner of the picture. If you're shooting down the length of the runway, you may get some of the sun into your camera. Note, watch the direction of the sun. Where possible, you do not want to shoot towards the sun. In my case, as mentioned, when shooting down the runway, I'm shooting sometimes towards the sun. Tight zoom angle, a lens hood, and sometimes using my hand to shade the lens. Shots. The runner running towards the pit. The runner in the air. The landing. The spray of the sand. The jump. The landing with the spray of the sand. High jump. Where to shoot from? The yellow arrows indicate my shooting position. Orange line is the runners, the jumper's running line towards the bar. The, bla the black line is the bar that they're going to jump over, and the purple square is the landing pad. Sun is, the sun is coming from the bottom left of the picture. Notes. There's a tip. If you kneel so the bar is above your head, that emphasizes the height of the jump. The approach and the jump. Crossing the bar and the landing. Pole vault is an event that we do not have at my school, so of necessity, this is going to be a very brief section. Shooting angles. The blue square is the runway. Green square is the landing pad. Purple vertical bar is the, is the height, is the bar that they're jumping over. So the orange arrows indicate directions where I would shoot from or in that direction, shooting down the runway, shooting the jumpers as they jump and clear. Sample pictures. Top left, jumper as the bar, as they're being flipped over the bar. Top right, bottom left, clearing the bar. Bottom right, running down the runway. That is the end of part one. Please continue to part two for the running events. And please like and subscribe. Thank you.